Alright, it's Ryan Sung Lee here with Monty Two Guns Barrett, fresh off of a uh, decision win over uh, David Tua. And uh, who are these two young ladies? Here? These are my two beautiful daughters. This is Tayana and this is Ashanti. Say hi. 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 Alright, so um, talk to me about um, this fight first off. Uh, you came into New Zealand, his backyard, and you, came, you got up from a very uh, a very good combination at the round that could have uh, a, lot, a lot of lesser fighters wouldn't have gotten up from. What propelled you to get up from that fight? Up from the knockout? I'll tell everybody, for one, the fight, I was just led in the spirit. I mean, as you know, David Tu is a, a big finisher, and he's a big puncher. And um, I just God just let, left me off the canvas. I've been living my life accordingly to Christ. I've been making a lot of changes spiritually, and I just think that I pray for this victory and all the things that, that came with it, the hard work, the dedication, and also I seen my, my promoter, Cedric Cushion, who's like 300 plus crowns, he jumped so high up, he touched, I thought he changed the fixtures in the, in the light, the light fixtures <laughs> in, the, in, the, in the ceiling, and I was like, wow, I was a little bothered by that, because the promoter's supposed to be neutral, and for him to show that type of emotion, I said, I'm going to get up and prove him wrong and everybody else. So that's why, I, that, that, was, that was my motivation for getting up. And he's been with Tua longer though, right? Yeah, I know he has a lot invested in Tua. I know that they have a long uh, uh, relationship and he has millions invested. But as a promoter, you still need to stay neutral. How did you feel about your dad's uh, I really didn't happy. see it, but I'm happy he's okay. Did you get nervous when uh, Tell me, are you covering your eyes? That kind of nervous? Well, I don't know if it's fights no more because yeah, her sister, she went to the top first fight. That's the last fight she went to. And the both time they both went to the fight, it was a lot of my Kushko. And it was so emotional. So I said I was going to have to cover the fights no more. So, that was a big pop right here. It's like a Stone Cold Steve Austin pop. <laughs> so, uh, talk to me a little bit. Um, there have been rumors, of course, that you may be going to the WWE. I hear that you're you have a, a meeting next week with Vince McMahon. Yeah, I got a meeting this weekend, this week coming up with Vince, and um, and we're going to talk about you know some ways that we can uh, pursue me uh, pursuing wrestling, and also you know I have to go to camp probably for a couple months in Tampa. So you know we're just trying to weigh all our options to see what happens. But for the people who are watching this video that may not be up on what's going on. Uh, of course, your jaw is wild shut, right? Yeah, my jaw is wide shut. That's why I'm talking so well. I'm straining when I'm talking. You know? But, you know, it's called bittersweet, you know? I did get the victory, so I'm happy with that. So what have you been eating now? I mean, obviously, it keeps your weight down, right? Yeah, my weight is down, but I'm, I'm drinking Nutriment and um, Inshore. And uh, a little soup here and there, but that's it. So uh, no uh, celebratory steak dinners or anything like that? No, don't tease me. Don't, <laughs> don't tease me. So uh, I've been seeing a lot of food lately. Me and my lady, we went shopping out there, and it was just like a, she was teasing me buying all this food. I know I'm, a, I'm not gonna get none of it. I can't. I'm gonna have my jaw wired for at least three to four weeks. No way. When I when uh, Glenn D Tapia had his jaw wired shut, and I uh, actually put a burger in his face, I really thought he was gonna hit me. And this is a guy I've been friends with for a number of years. He would have probably hit me. But um, I'm not gonna bring out any burgers. I want to talk a little bit about um, you know, of course, the p plan that you had proposed for me. Your dream would be to have a third bout with David Tua in a worked wrestling match. A lot of uh, the wrestling sites had reported incorrectly that you want to do a boxing match. You want to do a wrestling match here, right? I want to do a wrestling match in a steel cage, me and David Tua, and we want to get it on in, uh, in uh, WrestleMania. How do you ladies feel about it? Uh, I like that. I like, <laughs> I like the that. sound of that. How do you think you would do? Um, He's aggressive. I think he would, yeah. he would go to yeah. win. <laughs> yeah, um, do you think that... Uh, watching him box or watching him maybe do like a Mick Foley off the top of the house. Yeah, I think that one's better. Boxing, yeah. <laughs> but of course, you know, you, you know wrestling. Yeah. Too, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's more entertaining though. Yeah. Well, you, think you, you think you see your dad uh, body slamming people? If he can box, he can body slam somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what would be your finishing move? I mean, we've talked about this. Have you thought about this more? Well, I don't know, man. I want, you know, I want to change my name to the big shot. So, I don't know, but, um, you know, David Tua said, what you gonna do when two guns come after you? So, maybe I'll stay with two guns, I don't know. So, we'll see what happens.
Um, so you know, you talked about the big shot. Could, maybe that could be your uh, your finishing move, right? Yeah, yeah, the big shot with the big shot. Right. Well, yeah. I'm gonna take a little bit of credit for that, you know. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but um, talk to me about you know John Cena. You know, he did. Uh, he doesn't have the belt now, and now he's feuding with Del Rio. Um, t tell me, how do you feel about that angle? Well, you know, I'll be honest with you, since I, I haven't really gotten to wrestling since I've been gone. I've been, I was away for two weeks, and since I've been back, I haven't watched it on TV. I'm just trying to get better. I can't sleep at night. I'm on, um, I'm up all night, and I sleep during the day. I'm like sleeping only three hours a day because I'm on New Zealand time. So really, I'm out of whack. So basically, hopefully by Monday, I'll be back to normal. So I'm just really, I haven't watched no TV yet. How, um, talk to me about how uh, John Cena has uh, has embraced this idea. Um, has he been very supportive of you? Yes, he's been very supportive of me. I spoke to um, Ty Bailey the other day, who's a uh, uh, part, you know, the, um, the talent department, and, and you know, looking at how he's gonna approach this the best way. And uh, you know, they're very excited, and they think it'll be, it's a, it'll be a great idea. So I'm, I'm happy, and um, <clears throat> hopefully, when I meet with Vince. And Ty and John, we could figure this out and we could come up with a solution that works for everybody. And we just want to entertain people. At the end of the day, I'm a content professional and I'm going to give 110%. I'm going to go and do everything I have to do to put on the best performance possible. Um, all right, now, tell me, um, of course, uh, by, uh, by marriage, a distant relative of, uh, of Tua is The Rock. Are you at all concerned maybe that he might try to come in there and uh, do the people's elbow on you at all? Or? Let me tell you something. <laughs> if the rock come in, you can't see me. <laughs> Listen, me and John Cena got all bases covered. All right, that's been Monty Two Guns Barrett and his two lovely daughters with BoxingScene.com. I'm Ryan Sungalia.